Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, we are going to create this type of animated bottom navigation bar in Android Kotlin. So as you can see, this is our bottom navigation bar, and when I click on second item, it is uh, navigated to another fragment, same as for third and other items. And when we click on any one of the item icon, at that time it will display the icon with uh, the name of that fragment, right? So this type of bottom navigation drawer we are going to create in our today's tutorial. Without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio and create an empty Kotlin project. I had given its name as Bubble Navigation Bar. So uh, in order to create this type of navigation drawer, we need to use some external libraries, right? So just go to Chrome and search for and bubble navigation bar and you will get this library which is created by Gaurav, right? So by using this library, we can create these four different types of navigation drawer, right? In Java or in Android Kotlin. So in today's tutorial, we will create this type of bottom navigation bar. So just uh, copy this implementation dependency and paste it into our Android project uh, inside the build.gradle file under the dependencies section. Now, after successfully pasting it, you will get an uh, option of sync your project. After syncing your project, your project will be ready to use this library, right? Now, here, this bottom bar uh, activity, this is my main uh, file, right? Main Kotlin file, right? So, you must be getting your name as main activity, right? I have changed this name to bottom bar activity. And then, uh, what I had did here, I'll explain you first. Uh, basically, let's go to our XML file. And as you can see here, Firstly, I had to use the view pager. Now, view pager is nothing but the, this part in which the fragment will be displayed. This is my view pager, right? This, this one. This is my view pager, and then here, this square shape of navigation drawer is known as the bubble navigation linear view, right? Now, inside that linear view, I am having here five items, right? Home, search, favorites, and blah blah. These five items are known as bubble toggle view. As you can see, I had added five bubble toggle view into my XML file, right? Now, uh, again, in drivers folder, I had pasted here some icons which I need to use into my project. So, uh, I had changed its icon to IC playlist and then I had given them some shapes, I had given its title. So, in this way, I had designed this layout, right, of navigation drawer. So, after uh, drawing this layout, after creating the XML file, let's go to our main Kotlin file, which is here my bottom bar activity and then I had crea created here array list of fragments, right? Right? And then I had the added the five fragments into my array list. Actually, it is not a fragment. First one is a string, which is the name of my fragment. And then I will change its color background to inecto, which means I am having only one fragment file here, which I had created and given its name as screen slide page fragment. And each time I click on any one of the item here, according to that, I will change the background color of that fragment. Right. So actually here I am having only one segment whose color background color I am changing here. Right. So for that I had added here five uh, different colors with uh, the string of that segment and then I uh, and then I had created a variable known as page adapter uh, and which will make uh, our segment to be displayed onto the screen. And then uh, I had created the one more adapter file which is screen slide page adapter. Now, why we need this adapter, right? So, this adapter will uh, 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 take an input as an uh, array of our fragments uh, inside our constructor, and then uh, it will use it will be used as an adapter, right? And it overrides the two types of method. First one is get count, which will return how many counts of fragments are available into your project, and another one is get item. It will take their uh, fragment item one by one, fragment one by one. From this uh, array, right? Array of fragments, it will take it one by one, right? And according to that, it, it will give it as a position, right? So here we had assigned that, that adapter to our view pager, and then the view pager has, view pager has three types of overridden method. First one is the page scroll, which we don't need to use, page scroll state change, which also we are not using, and third one is on page selected. Now, what does this method do? Uh, on page selected, whenever we'll click on any of the item from the navigation drawer, according to that, it will change uh, the background color here we had assigned that, right? If we click on home, at that time, it will change the background color to red, and on search, it will blue, and vice versa for all the items, right? So, in this way. Now, 
at the end we had uh, used the set navigation change listener on our bubble navigation linear view right so uh, when we click on any of the item from bubble navigation at that time it has a view and the position the position is nothing uh, but the uh, position is the thing uh, but the uh, item uh, number right uh, uh, position number right 0 1 2 3 in this way so it will pass that way whichever item will click uh, it will pass that item uh, to here and then it will display that fragment onto the screen right so and this is our fragment file which uh, we are just having background color and it takes you on the screen right so in this way we are going to we ha uh, had created this bottom navigation bar in android Kotlin. hope you like this tutorial and if you need any type of help please uh, comment in comment box or you can mail me my mail id is in description so thanks for watching